Now, President William Ruto has formed a National Drought Response Steering Committee in efforts to institutionalize the framework for mobilizing additional resources to address the worsening drought. In a Gazette notice issued on Monday, the 15-member committee will be chaired by Safaricom CEO Peter Ndegwa and will establish a private sector-led mitigation appeal fund. Grace Ongoi begins our bulletin with the following story. In the wake of the biting drought that has seen over 5.1 million Kenyans affected with about a million children and over 130,000 pregnant and lactating mothers reported to be malnourished, the government is doubling its efforts to alleviate the suffering of Kenyans. President Ruto, who last week called on Kenya's development partners to offer a helping hand to drought-stricken counties, has formed a National Drought Response Steering Committee that will establish a private sector-led National Drought Mitigation Appeal Fund to be spearheaded by the Kenya Red Cross. The committee's primary interventions will be in the areas of food, water, livestock, health, wildlife, energy, education, security, forestry, agriculture, and irrigation. The committee will also be tasked in mobilizing resources to supplement the government's drought response program in relieving the impact of the drought. In a Gazette notice, Ruto noted that the committee's formation was necessitated by the need to institutionalize the framework for mobilizing additional resources to address the worsening drought impacts. Further, the steering committee will also support interventions like the cash transfer programs to protect affected populations. Additionally, the committee will work to strengthen the county and the national government's capacity for resilient recovery and to ensure they protect development gains for recurring droughts. The Secretariat of the National Steering Committee on Drought Response will be based in Harambe House Annex. Meanwhile, Deputy President Tigadi Gashago has challenged the private investors and humanitarian organizations to get ready to work with the government under the public-private partnership to construct dams and water plants in arid and semi-arid regions. Speaking in Lagdera, Garissa County on Monday when he graced the launch of the drought response plan, the deputy president urged international partners to work with the government to find long-term solutions to perennial challenges such as the ongoing drought. Tutafute solutions la kudumu ya kuchipa dams ya kutosha kote katika jamhuri ya Kenya iyo ikue sunuisho ambaye ni ya kudumu kusaidia wa Kenya wa sikufe kwa nja na situkue kila mwaka tunatafuta usaidizi ya bomba chakula na ni mambo ambayo tunaelewa ya kwamba hii hali itaendelea kwa miaka mingi Grace Ongoi for Optivity News Watch